guys, so I have a pink sofa. Well, not really, but I used to have it the other way around. And I was like, you know what, what might be a little bit fun? What might mix things up in my life? Is if I flipped it, and now it's pink. <sighs> Today, I have to go into the art studio and pick up the rest of my work. I've already taken a bunch of stuff back, but I don't have to get the rest. I've got to find places to put it all, because some of it's very art school and I don't think I want it up on my wall 24-7. Like, I don't think I need intense self-portraits watching me in the corridor. in like this it makes me want to cut it like it really does I'm not going to because I'm determined I'm growing out my hair this year like one full year of not chopping half of it off just to see that's my rule but like the bob is kind of a sleigh <laughs> some uni work done. This is my productive uni work fit because I don't want to get into real clothes yet. So the mission for today is I want to basically have my final year essay fully done. It's fully written the first draft but I'm going back through not redrafting it but editing it. I looked back over the assessment requirements and there's like a few paragraphs that I want to kind of steer in a different direction. I want to get that all that all done today. Tomorrow I just do a full read through, check errors, etc. And then hopefully get it submitted by Thursday. I want it definitely submitted by the weekend. I think it's still not due until the end of the month. But I want it done so I can focus on other things and not have to worry about it. Okay, I did like an hour and a half of the essay and it's all like typed up. Then I need to go back to the art studio, which I'm dreading because I have to walk all the way there and all the way back. But I've got to get the like final dregs of my studio stuff before obviously the studio is closed for summer. But I started this last night slightly obsessively. But yeah, we're doing like 20 minutes of this and I'm watching an episode of the OC. Or I'm finishing an episode of the OC, which I'm obsessed with at the moment. I'm on episode 12, 14, I think, first season, and I just love it. This is Teresa. Hi. Hello, friend. Nice to meet you. Uh, I'm Kirsten. Everyone is so goofy in this show. Like, they're so goofy. I don't know if any of you have watched The OC, but Ryan, like, the technically main character, he gets so many bitches. He... Everyone just falls in love with him and he's so goofy. Like he's always just walking around with his mouth open looking confused and for some reason everyone just falls to his feet and it's so funny to me. It's hilarious. I can't. This show is so goofy. You have to watch the OC guys. Does everybody know everybody? Oh, yeah. cracks me up. Hi, it's not nothing that's complicated. It's something heavy. What we have here is our very own telenovela. Telenovela? Yeah. Spanish language soap opera. Mina Maravilla. Then I was thinking, though it's still cold, it's a really nice day out, it's very sunny. I was thinking I might wrap up warm, bring my book out, do a little walk around the meadows, which is like the big park in Edinburgh, find a bench, sit and read my book for a bit, and then head down to the studio and grab the rest of my stuff. That's gonna be pretty cool. Okay. 
Let's hope I actually finish this project in the next year because I'm so bad at finishing projects. cozy today. Also, I painted my nails. They look so bad at the moment because I'm trying to stop picking them and painting my nails usually helps. This is the current state of them and hopefully soon they'll look better. Hopefully. I'm gonna bed to read, but although it's really nice and sunny, it is so windy and still ridiculously cold that I don't I don't know if I'm ever gonna have that because I am a wuss. So I'm gonna head to the art studio. On the way back, if it's less windy, I will read. If not, I will have to read inside, which will be sad, but what can you do? My ears already feel like they're gonna fall off. It's so windy and cold. Hi, so it's like eight o'clock and I'm heading to work in about 20 minutes and I'm not really sure about this as an outfit but it's because I wear my work apron over it but the main thing I wanted to but the main thing I wanted to show you quickly this morning is I technically finished the jumper I was working on and it kind of looks like that but because I'm a perfectionist I think I'm gonna remove um, the stitching, tying them all together and redo these middle pieces because these middle pieces I think it needs to be tighter I kind of want it to be more like form fitting I think either form fitting or really baggy and this is like a weird in between and because it's cropped I think the bagginess looks kind of odd I'll show you my process even though I think I'm gonna um, ruin it this evening no not ruin it but try and fix it anyway that's where we're at with that. I'm working until three, and then I'm gonna maybe work on my essay for a bit. It's basically done. It's basically done. I just need to add some more photos, read through it again, triple check for like silly errors. I'm determined that I wanna get it in by Sunday. Like Monday, I don't wanna have to think about it. The top does look weird, kind of like an undershirt. I feel like I should be wearing something over it, and it's because at work I will be wearing something over it. But it kind of looks a bit odd now. Anyway, I started a new book, The Cat in the City. I was asking people on TikTok about it, and a few people were saying that it's not very well translated. And I can kind of tell. It's originally in Japanese. Obviously, it's been translated into English because I unfortunately cannot speak Japanese. And it's hard to tell. I feel like some of it feels slightly like you're reading it through Google Translate, but I also think partly that is the style of it. Also, another thing, I don't know if you can tell, you probably can, my skin is not, like, it's not doing the best. 
I have the, what is it called? It's A Something Retinol by Drug Elephant. And I really wanted to clear up some red marking that I have on my cheeks. And I know how retinol works, kind of. And I know it like speeds up your skin cycles, so it gets worse before it gets better. So I'm breaking out a bit, but I am a pussy and I'm also vain and I'm thinking I might just give up. I just don't wanna deal, I like acne makes me so like stressed. I'm not very good with sensations and the texture, it just doesn't work for me. I might retry it. I might retry it when I'm home and not seeing anybody for three weeks. Maybe, but I think I'm giving up. I'm sorry. Cause like, I can't, emotionally, I like wanna rip them out. Like it, I, it's my biggest problem. And it was so awful during puberty where I was getting, um, why, no plats, um, do I? S anyway, um, I'm getting distracted. Let's just not look at them. What was I saying? I don't know. I'm gonna go to work. Okay, I literally just made a TikTok about this, but I'm so upset about it, I'm sharing it with you now. I just got back from work. It looks like I've just never left this spot. Maybe I haven't. Anyway, um, mid, 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 mid shift. My lovely Dot Martin shoe. I'm so upset about this. It literally got caught on someone's shoelace and just fully ripped the fuck off. I had this pair. And to be fair, they lasted me like five years. I got them when I was very young. I wore them to school every single day. But eventually this ripped off and I had to glue it back together. And then I got finally a new pair of shoes. And within six months, completely ripped off. Just completely ripped off. What can you do about it? I'm gonna go back to my old shoe and wear the one that hadn't been destroyed. And now I'm wearing mismatched shoes. But today, the other one broke. I have so many Mary Janes that that just aren't, that I can't wear. And I'm gonna go to the cobbler, but I'm upset. And I've never had my shoes cobbled. Why is it called a cobbler? That's probably a really obvious answer to do with history, but I actually don't know. I have made these shoes my entire personality. Like, if you know me in real life, these are my shoes. I have spent more of my life since I was 13 in these shoes and out of these shoes and I'm not that's not a joke I think if you cut them open raw memories and my soul would just fall out of them I've got two Amazon parcels that my lovely mother sent me and I think I think they are two new books <gasps> Yeah, I've seen this book. It's called Curse Bunny and it's by Bora Chung translated by Anton Ha genre defined collection of short stories by Korean author Bora Chung. Blurring the lines between magical realism, horror, and science fiction, Chung uses elements of the fantastic and surreal to address the real horrors and cruelty of patriarchy and capitalism in modern society. Ooh, I'm excited. I feel like I've seen, seen bitches talking about this book. It looks very cool. I think this will be my next book. I don't remember what this one is. Oh, it looks cute. The Little Virtues by Natalia Ginsberg. Oh my god, with an introduction by Rachel Cusk. I swear she's everywhere. She's always writing introductions for things. But it looks really cute. Between 1944 and 1960, Natalia Ginsberg wrote The Little Virtues, a collection of 11 vivid portraits of life that are central to her legacy as one of the greatest Italian writers of the 20th century. From the Italian countryside where she and her husband lived in exile under fascist rule to the melancholy streets of 1960 London, Ginsberg explores loneliness and belonging against the backdrop of post-war Europe. Hmm. How very cool. I'm very excited about that. Thank you, lovely mother, for adding to my book collection. I haven't gone book shopping in a while because there's been too many books that I had to get through. But I'm getting through them, actually. I'm getting through them, which is dangerous. I keep thinking the fact that um, I'm not gonna live in Edinburgh forever. I'm here as a uni student. So at some point, 
I'm gonna have to to move all of these books that I've got. I don't know how. Part of me is actually dreading leaving this flat purely because I'm gonna have to move everything. I need to like declutter. I'm... When I think about having to move out of this flat, I start thinking maybe I should be a minimalist. I'm like, maybe I should get rid of everything. Maybe I'll just live in Edinburgh forever and ever just because I can't be bothered. I completely forgot to film an outro for this vlog, but here's some footage of two magpies that live across my bedroom window. And I see them every day and I love them. And sometimes they come to my windowsill. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. I love you. Bye.